Hi guys, hope you're doing well. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to basically copy your files if you've crashed your windows. So first of all, what we need to do is uh, you need to go into command. So you type in command over here and you need to right click run as administrator. Now, if you don't have administrator, you can just click command prompt. Once when the command prompt is opened up, you'll be faced with this screen. Now, there are two, uh, this tutorial has got two steps. The first thing is I'm going to talk about Dispart. So Dispart is a very important piece of software. So if you type Dispart, and that will basically open up Dispart, right? And uh, what this does is uh, it, it is used to detect if uh, you have got a hard drive and if it's functioning properly, you can clean the hard drive. So the first thing what you can do is you can type in list and it lists this uh, command will give you four different options disk partition volume and vdisk virtual disk so what you need to do is you need to type in list disk and it'll give you the disk so right now i've got disk uh, the main disk which is 238 gb is gpt now the gpt within asterisk mean that this is the booting drive and GPT is the newer uh, bootloader version of for Windows 10. Just put it like that. All right, uh, that is uh, a discussion for another time. But you have to remember that your main disk would be anything. It could be zero. It could be one. It could be two. But just you need to make a note of this. Then what you need to do is you can um, uh, see if there's any partitions. Now, the scenario is that you've crashed your windows, you've pressed F8, uh, you've uh, gone into the command prop screen, and over there uh, you have this option. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to type uh, this part. So after this part, you can type in um, list partition. Okay and there is no partition because I've got no partitions. If you have partitions on your main disk, then that would show you that uh, how many partitions you have. And then I'll show you how to copy the data from that partition or that disk to your main disk or to an external USB stick, all right? And then what you can do is you can also type in list volume so here you can see I've got volume 0, 1. Now just remember, don't confuse the volume with the disk. The disk is 0, zero but in the disk you've got volume 0, which is the window, and you've got volume 1, which is the system volume, and that's just 260 megabits. It's really small, right? And then you have your virtual disk. Now I don't have any virtual disk, so it won't show up, but I can show it to you. List V disk. So there are no virtual disks to show, right? So the thing is that you've got a couple of commands over here that if your hard drive is not functioning properly and you just want to clean your hard drive, you can type in the word clean and then it says no disk is selected. So the first thing is you need to select your disk, right? So you can you need to type in select disk and because mine is zero space zero and here you go. It says this zero is now the selected disk so i can type clean and if i press clean it says disk error because the reason is that is the main disk that that's why it's, it won't clean it but that is one thing now the second thing is that how do you actually copy the data from one disk to another area of wherever you want to save your data or your files say for argument's sake you've got documents and so on blah 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 all right so i'm just going to hit exit and i'm going to press type dir so this is this dir is basically showing my system 32 files because i'm in system 32 what you need to do is you need to uh, type in cd and which is chain directory and forward slash and that will basically bring you to the main area then you type dir and over here in that crash disk basically it should show you the different uh, directories and usually where your files are stored they're stored in users so you can type in cd users and that'll take you into users and then you can type in dir and over here you have your different um, folders and usually it's the name or it's the login name which you logged in uh, to normally used to log in 
to your computer and that would show up as one of the folders so mine is moment so cd uh, moment and that will bring me into the moment folder and over here i've got uh, all my different folders and uh, just for argument's sake i can go into cd uh, desktop and that would show me that what do I have on my desktop. Now, theoretically, this is not showing me each and everything on the desktop uh, for some other reasons, but I can basically, um, I'll just go one step back and uh, I will go into uh, some other uh, folder just for argument's sake, just to copy stuff and to show you guys. So over here, we can type in CD and um, so I've got some maybe something in documents which are very important and over here I don't have something but um, let me find something which I can show you guys so CD and over here I can type in CD one uh, drive and DIR so I've got some stuff in my one drive or I've got a business folder about desktop CV and education work and so on so example if I need to copy my CV which is um, which is roughly 23,000 bytes and it's it's an Excel file say uh, it's very important I need to copy it so how would I do that so here you need to use the command copy and I will say MN and it will pick up the whole um, file which needs to be copied. I uh, put a space and I'll say um, copy to my uh, say let's put it in documents right so I will uh, do um, so I will type in C and then colon and then um, uh, backslash and over here I have users and backslash and then moment and backslash and then um, documents and what I will do is I will uh, type documents and and uh, backslash and then press enter and that's the way it just copied one file so this is the way that you can copy a file so if you would want to copy a whole folder what you need to do is basically you need to type in copy and over here you will type in c colon uh, backslash users backslash moment backslash onedrive backslash test one two three so don't forget to put the command forward slash e because forward slash e is the command which gives the option to copy the empty subfolders to the destination so that is the most important thing right so don't forget to do that and over here the next option what you need to do is um, so test one two three and space and then C colon backslash users backslash moment backslash oops, one drive backslash documents and access denied. Yeah, the reason it's saying access denied is. I don't have administrator rights but if you have an external USB drive it'll definitely copy the folder so guys this is the way if your hard drive is crashed and you use the F8 function and you go into your command prompt and you want to copy all your files and folders you can just simply use these simple commands I'm going to put in in the comment section below and um, and you can copy these commands and you don't need to you know do all the complicated stuff as you know lots of videos it's so complicated uh, you just don't need to do anything like that just do the just follow these commands and you'll be fine and you'll be able to save all your data on your USB drive all right guys I hope you found this video tutorial helpful if you did give it a thumbs up do subscribe to the channel and I'll be posting more videos in relation to Windows command prompts and so on and uh, yeah so catch you in my next video then bye for now